निजे ने करो जॉय थैंक यू सर थैंक यू डॉक्टर कनी मोजी डॉक्टर कनी मोजी यू हैव टेन मिनट्स हॉनरेबल वाइस चेयरमैन सर First of all, I express our support towards the Women Reservation Bill under the leadership of our Chief Minister Talabadi M K Stalin yesterday, today, and forever. But for our beloved leader, Dr. Kalinga, I would not be standing before this august gathering. He is an embodiment of the greatest leaders and has been a symbol of empowerment of women in the world. Tandai Periyar, who is a visionary social reformer who fought for the rights of women a century back. He has proclaimed that only a society which withers slavery of women can grow, and that is the real growth. He always said, "Pengaledam irde kadaiye karandiye pidi ke vitte puttagatte kudtal podo," which means from the kitchen to the classrooms for the women, which had been the Dravidian movement vision from the late early 1920s. From the time immemorial, Tamil Nadu has the glorious tradition of recognizing the importance of empowering women. we had the empowered women in the sangam age even about 2000 years ago the tamil poetess avayar and the two most celebrated epics of tamil literature selapadigaram and manimegalai glorify the power of women during the tamil sangam period kannagi and manimegalai are revered like the goddess and along with poetess avayar are the testimonial for the greatness of womanhood in making the enlightened society women's reservation is a matter of right and not a favor to us Tamil poet Bharathiya has proclaimed hundred years back. He also hailed the bravery and character of women as "Anum pennum nigarane kolvadal arivya logi ivayam tarakumam," which means, if we consider men and women equal consciously, then that society flourishes. As you all believe, the concept of Ardhanari Shwara, who gave half of his body to women, according to that belief, without women power there is no life. This is the concept of life. Sir, our Indian Constitution has conferred and guaranteed equality before law, universal adult franchise, and equal opportunities for men and women as fundamental rights. I would like to take this August House way back to 1921 to remind the right to vote for women was given by Justice Party in Mizoram's presidency, followed by 1927 in Tamil Nadu as its first representation by the women, Dr. Muthu Lakshmi Reddy, who was empowered with education. In 1996, the UPA won along with the Party DMK. The Women's Reservation Bill was brought about, which could not be passed at that time, which nobody could forget. In 2010, UPA too, along with the DMK Party, passed the Women's Reservation Bill in Rajya Sabha. Now the current government is presenting the same bill after 9.5 years of its regime, where they could pass, when they could pass the controversial bills like the Farmers Bill, the CAA Bill, the Kashmir Bill. the ews 10% even last evening the central government announced where neat pgs could even get zero marks and they get their post graduation seats secured in the country the government have done their homework on the women's reservation bill in it, it could have been done in a better way our party dmk played a role in passing the resolution in providing 50% of reservation for women representatives themselves in urban local bodies tamil nadu is the first state to do so in this india Under the dynamic leadership of a successive chief ministers of Tamil Nadu, right from Arigar Anna, Tamil Nadu stands first in many initiatives for the welfare and the development of women. Muthamal Arigar, Dr. Kalinger, passed a law to ensure that women have legal rights over their ancestral property decades ago. Dr. Kalinger is one who increased the financial support for several women yes, through welfare schemes decades ago. Today, we all we have all women police station, women commandos. that has clearly shown the world the ways to achieve the empowerment of women the government of tamil nadu under the dynamic leadership of dr kalinger has framed various policies designed specific interventions and implemented many programs to empower women some of them are periyar eera nagamai scheme free coaching exclusively for women students entrepreneurship awareness program tamil nadu corporation for development of women establishment of self help groups for sustainable economic growth the entrepreneurship development training program for women skill upgradation training program are some of the path breaking schemes implemented in tamil nadu under the guidance of our beloved leader dr kalinger the nation and its growth is in the hands of women and all around efforts are being made by the dmk regime for their empowerment the dravidian movement's growth is all inclusive and it includes both men and women nothing is planned excluding women in tamil nadu following the footsteps of trio of social justice and dravidian model 
Tandai Periyar, Peraringar Anna, Muttamaringar Dr. Kalingar initiatives and schemes for women empowerment are being implemented by the DMK government. Continuing the legacy of the Dravidian movement and the Dravidian model of governance, today under the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, through N.K. Stalin, improved upon women welfare schemes that are being implemented in Tamil Nadu over the last five decades. Equal rights for women and family properties since 1989. Increase in reservation for women and government jobs to 40%. Dr. Muttalakshmi Reddy when, uh, Maternity Benefit Scheme aimed at ensuring maternal nutrition. Schemes for education, marriage, assistance and remarriage. Fair free travel for women and government run city buses. The Muvalu Rama Amirda Mammayar Higher Education Assurance Scheme provides rupees 1000 financial assistance to girls till they complete the recognized course. The government of Tamil Nadu has launched the Grand Social Welfare Initiative for Women Kalingar Magali Urimai Togai Dittam on September 15th. Through this scheme, monthly financial assistance of 1,000 is being provided to 1.6 crore eligible women in the state of Tamil Nadu. The plethora of welfare programs has engineered the empowerment of women in Tamil Nadu. Under the Dravidian model of social justice, let all inclusive growth is implementing more schemes for education, social justice, and women and its rights. Tamil Nadu is a role model state in the country, and full credits goes to the Dravidian movement and the Dravidian model government by our extraordinary leaders. No state in India can boost such an overall growth of women in all walks of life rather than Tamil Nadu. Be it education, employment and empower is the key to our success. And yes, Tamil Nadu has done the homework very right in the right manner. <laughs> Sir, the, the sad part of the design of this government is that women in this country will have to wait further a long way at least till 2029 to rise to their fullest potential to force their way into the parliament and state legislative assemblies, even if the women reservation bill is passed in our parliament today. The Article 334, the provisions of constitution relating to the reservation of seats, women in the House of People, the legislative assembly of states shall come into effect after an exercise of delimitation is undertaken for the purpose after the relevant figures, after the first census taken after commencement of the constitution, 128th Amendment Act 2023, which has published and shall cease to have the effect on the expiration of the period of 15 years from such a commencement. Sir, I would like to say the government is conducting the marriage engagement now or the betrothal function, which we would rather call it, and we don't know when the marriage is. Sir, in Tamil, we have a proverb saying, Kai vai which means it would come to the hands, but we cannot eat it. That is the present situation of the women in India. So I appeal before the uh, current government to pass the bill in 2024 parliamentary elections without fail, not keeping in creed or anything about the uh, delimitation or the census which has to be taken. Sir, this, your sinister design would be understood by the people of the country and clearly know your intention is not to implement the reservation for women but to create a confusion amongst the women in India. Sir, the nation wants to know, can the minister answer to a pinpoint, a date, when the women reservation bill will be implemented when it comes as an act. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kani Mojiji.